What's up ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. In this video, we're gonna show you how to apply drive or don't repeat yourself. When you start doing much of the same thing with pure functions, you'll often refactor to reuse the same code in one place, right? So you don't repeat yourself. And so let's go ahead and show you what I mean. We're gonna create a get weather function. And it goes to a completely separate URL and gets the weather. So we're gonna copy, copy pasta coding for the win here. Instead of get time, it's get weather. And it takes a weather URL, which I've imported up top up here, and it gives it to the request module to get. Okay, your spidey sense should be tingling and go, this is duplication. You don't want to repeat yourself because a minor little bug here, right, could not be duplicated over here, and now you're fixing the same bug in multiple places. So what we're going to do is reuse this functionality and call, actually we're going to copy pasta coding. Copy pasta coding. And we're going to call this guy request get. The reason he's called request get is he takes a request and makes a get. But that's it. The URL has whatever. I don't really care what URL it is. You can give me whatever URL you want. That's basically the same thing that these guys do. So we get rid of these guys, right? And now, basically, request get can take in the request, the real request, and the time URL. Then, result, time. Catch error. Time error. We can copy pasta this guy and do the exact same thing for weather. Weather. And now we've reused this guy, but again, we have to define this each time, and that's annoying. We've done it in two places. We repeated ourselves twice. That's ridiculous. Let's go ahead and reuse our functional programming partial trick and we'll say get URL. A get URL basically does a get on a URL. We don't really care about the request module. It's very obvious. If you've ever heard of the term curried functions, they're very similar to partials in that all the dynamic stuff you don't know is off to the right, but the stuff you do know is off to the left. We know in Node, we're gonna use request. And in the browser, we're probably gonna use fetch or some other Ajax library, like an old school jQuery. And so we know that, so we can go ahead and pre-fill that. This is the dynamic stuff. So in this partial, we're going to do something different that we did in the last video. We're going to take a request get and say this function, we want to go ahead and partially apply the request or automatically give this parameter in there for us. But we're not going to supply a second one. And that's because the URL, we don't know right now. We just know, look, I already know the request get is always going to have the request module. I imported it up top. But I don't really know what URL. It's dynamic. So the get URL is like, cool, bro. You give me a URL, and I'll go ahead and put that as number two. So if you look at this function right Think of rewriting it old school, right, as, and I'll even use braces, I'll, I'll veer into Lisp territory. Say, give me a URL, and go ahead and call request get with the request and a URL. So it's still going to return a promise, right? Same input, same output. But we're kind of hard coding this request in here from a partial perspective. But this isn't really pure, right? It's magic and magic-y here, whereas in the partial, it's not magic. We've applied it up here and got a, a pure function back. If you think of these two functions as similar, that's basically what it does under the hood. It's just a little easier from this is a pure function, that same input, same output. Now we can change the request get and get rid of the request because we all know it. I'm going to go ahead and run it to show you the weather. And at some point, our time will come back. <laughs> this is a live demo, folks. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use function partial to do dry or don't repeat yourself. Taking code that's duplicated reusing it and reducing yet again how many arguments you have to apply and instead of doing all of the arguments we've done just one at this time allowing us to dynamically supply the rest later when we actually know them at this point in the code we actually know those dynamic parts that we actually want to supply the url in this case the time url and in this case the weather url same function still dynamic but it's partially applied to things we already know about 